Hello. Thank you for tuning into my channel. This is a flip through of uh, the Angel Wisdom Tarot deck. I got it just a few days back and I couldn't wait and I couldn't, uh, uh, you know, wait to open this uh, tarot deck and do the reading. I have already used it uh, in few of my readings and trust me guys, it resonates so well. It gives amazing readings. Um, so um, this one I got it from Amazon and uh, it says Angel Wisdom Tarot, a 78 card deck and guidebook, Wrath Like Valentine, illustrations by Dan Craig. Uh, the thing is, you know, it's it's a good deck for beginners, though uh, I don't know about others. Like I am, I don't have to go ahead and uh, refer to the things that I mentioned at the bottom of the card because I am able to, uh, you know, listen to my intuitions and go, give a reading basis that. But then for anybody who is new into tarot and wants to learn the meaning of the cards instantly, this deck is for you guys don't think twice just go for it okay so uh, lavishly illustrated and rich with symbolism this tarot deck draws upon the wisdom and power of archangels to help you speak with the divine you'll find uplifting interpretations of traditional tarot messages and imagery uh, including diverse contemporary depictions of classic characters internationally acclaimed angel tarotist radleg valentine uh, includes unique features on each card to make them easy to use. While also drawing upon the long history of tarot to add depth to each reading, this deck offers a positive yet powerful way to find the guidance and answers from heaven you seek. Beautiful. Let's see. All right. So this comes with a booklet here. Uh, Angel Wisdom Tarot and the booklet is quite... You know thick it's not like very thin and all but then it's quite thick uh, so it tells you the how to work with the angel wisdom uh, tarot you know and then uh, things about wisdom cards archangel let's talk about those code cards and meaning of the cards here right and uh, pull a card how to pull how to make a spread and then uh, card four, card five, Celtic spread, three card reading, Celtic spread. See, and the meaning of the cards here. Beautiful. The booklet itself is quite uh, thick. If you compare it with other booklets, this is quite a thick booklet here. And uh, I somehow feel that, you know, it has, um, um, I have not read the booklet because uh, I was able to, intuitively do the reading but then i am very sure that it, it has good meaning to it all right so i have already shuffled the cards because i couldn't wait and i did a few readings from this and the readings resonated so well so the interpretation of these cards are also good so let's start so i'll flip the cards one by one so see, it has a meaning uh, at the bottom as well. Queen of Pentacles. Generous, practical, gracious, materialistic, the ability to make anything more beautiful, a love of family and home, be practical about how you proceed, a love of art and beauty, a sensible approach. So I'm not going to read each and every card, but then I'm going to just show you, flip it across, and then probably whosoever is watching this and are interested in this particular card deck, they can decide basis that because as far as the quality is concerned, the quality is also fine. It is not bad. I mean, it is not very thin. It is not very thick. Easy to shuffle. I will take out, I will pull out one card for you by the end of this particular flip through. Um, and probably we can read it from the booklet that is mentioned here. Uh, the imagery, the artwork is stunning. I mean, I loved it. There's a lot of room for imagination uh, in this artwork. You can, you can imagine, you can uh, do the, you know, the intuitions goes really well in this uh, particular artwork. I mean, there's a lot of room for imagination undoubtedly she has done a good job i just loved 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 the pictures here i mean you can totally see i 
the only thing is in few of the cars they have changed the name uh you know at first you might face some difficulty in understanding which exactly card it is for new people for people who are quite new in tarot but then slowly and gradually you will get to know just by reading the meaning or the numbers at the bottom so they have for example for for swords it's an a sign so they have uh, shown the small a sign here and then page p and then the meaning so you know it's it's right at the uh everything is quite mentioned like for a fire sign there's a fire sign then it, for night they have mentioned kn so that's how you read these cards so it makes it easier for you while reading air sign water sign fire sign earth sign fool you have a good look here I hope the light is good for you to see there's some problem with my focus today camera's focus The deck is a little thick as compared to other deck. Uh, this one is a little bigger for sure. A little thick because the card itself, you know, if you, if you check the quality of the card, they are thick. It's like, uh, I don't know whether how many of you have Modern Witch Tarot, but then those card qualities are also thick. So it's somewhat like that. The only thing is they are glossy. These are not. These are matte finish cards. <laughs> I like this one. Knight of Swords. Gloom. Sad. And thinking. like this look at the page of wands the chameleon at the background or dragon maybe but it's a lizard something like that and i love this one as well six of cups king of cups queen of wands Four of Wands, Death Card, Ten of Pentacles, Six of Swords, 
three of pentacles two of cups hangman i just love the pictures here Hmm. All right, so that was last one. Let's see. So, I'm sh you know, it's it's quite easy to shuffle as well. Uh, they're quite uh, nice. They shuffle very smoothly. And I don't shuffle. I shuffle it like this, sideways. Let's see. Let's pull out one card quickly and see how it does. Give me one card, please. Okay. That's two of pentacles, working too hard on multiple jobs, the need to bring balance, fun into your life, juggling multiple priorities, balancing the budget. All right, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. What is the... Pentacles, please. Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. Hmm. Two of Earth. You're trying to do too much overwork, and the desire to balance home and career can create a great deal of stress. Yes, it's true that you are quite capable of handling many things at once, and that can be positive. However, it can also be bad for your inner, mental, and physical health. If you are not loving what you are doing, wherever you can, you can try to find fun in all the aspect, aspects of your work sneak a little joy into your job find a way to make work more playful this card can also reflect the need to juggle funds in order to make ends meet additional meaning of this card the ability to adapt balancing your budget managing multiple priorities or job finding reasons to be happy in the face of adversity income accomplishing more than what's expected handling all the details making big changes in your career wisdom card the need for balance uh, between work and play is the perfect job for archangel sad clear uh, he urges you to stop and smell the roses even during the times of extreme stress hmm the booklet is also good all right guys that's about it that was the flip through of angel wisdom tarot deck thank you so much for tuning in i'll come up with another flip through pretty soon Bye bye